And that's a yo yo job as far as the market is concerned. And uh, Spring Casper back to $2. Wizardry things at $2. All right, green light goes on. There's no more bets. Here's race 10. The Greyhounds as pets. Set to go. Away, Wizardry Things uh, began fair. Spring Casper on the inside, and between those two, Wizardry Things uh, showing more speed. Going to get across and find the front. Spring Casper got into a little bit of trouble. He's getting up on the inside of Vintage Girl, giving the leader about three lengths start and starting to chase out after it, making ground quickly. Behind those was Uguay. Out in front, Wizardry Things. Spring Casper's putting in the big strides. Here comes the finish line. Wizardry Things has held on to beat Spring Casper. Only by about a half length on the line. They were five lengths clear vintage girl and Uguay at the tail end of the field it promised to be a good battle between those two and they run around 25 80. Wizardry Things uh, got the advantage at the start 25 81 was able to get across and find the lead built up about a three or four length lead on Spring Casper who was just slightly inconvenienced by vintage girl who wanted to get down to the inside and that allowed Wizardry Things to go and take the lead and he's held on 6 1 4 8 25 81 the time after race number 10. Six 